Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint an Iron Warriors Chaos Space Marine. If you like the channel and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now on to the video. So this is the finished Iron Warriors Chaos Space Marine that we're going to be working on for the duration of this video. Got those nice yellow and black stripes on the plate on his left leg there and one on his right forearm. So without further ado, let's get painting. The first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Lead Belcher and we're going to give the entire armour a good coat of this. So any of the armour plates except for the shoulders or the pauldrons, you just want to give them a good coat of Lead Belcher. Same with the chainmail and any of the tips of the bolt rounds that are coming out of his rifle too. Also part of his power pack and also the bolt rifle itself. Next we're going to use some Citadel Avaland Sunset. I'm going to use this to do any of the plates that you want to do with the yellow and black stripes. I'm just going to do the outside of the left lower leg and also the outside of the right forearm with this. Also going to use this to do any of the little tubes and cables that you have going between the armour plates. Now I'm going to work on the armour trim, so we're going to use Citadel Retributor Armour. I'm going to go around all of the nice trim that they have around each of the plates. Give that a good coat of Retributor Armour. I'm also going to use this to do the case of each bolt round too. Next up, it's Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm just going to use this to do any of the bone parts. Now, he's only got a couple of little bone kind of spines growing out of the edge of the armor trim, and also the two little protrusions from his helm. Now, it's time for Citadel Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to use this to do the holster, any pouches, the belt. And the little straps that are holding the pouches on there. I'm just going to do these in Bane Blade Brown so we can make them look like a bit of scuffed leather as the video goes on. Really quick layer next, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Mephist on red just to do those eye lenses. The final base colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Black. I'm going to use this to do the two pauldrons, also the little seals between the armour plates and also the loincloth on the front there. Also you can do the tubing around the helm if you want to. Next up, it's Citadel Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to use this to do all of the gold trim on the armour. Doing this miniature is partly down to listening to Angel Exterminatus. I've never been too interested and known too much about the Iron Warriors, really, but listening to that novel from the Horus Heresy series, I really liked Perturabo. He's a quite grim and miserable character, but really, really enjoyed the novel, so I thought. Paint up this fella and give him a bit of a hat tip. Another really quick one here, it's Citadel Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to use this to paint up the two yellow sections on the armour and also any of those little tubes that you're painting up yellow and black striped too.
Now we have Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to be using this to do all of the silver armour, also the parts on the bolt gun, the power pack, many other bits that you want to darken down with a little bit of that dull null oil. Just going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Druchy Violet just to put a little bit around each of the eye lenses so that we can give them a bit of a shade. Final shade is going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to use this to do any of those little bone growths coming from the arbor. Just going to use a little bit of Citadel snake bite leather contrast. Going to use this to do the pouches, the belt, the holster, and those little straps that are holding the holster in place. Could do the straps on his leg a different colour if you wanted to, but I figured if you're going to be painting up a lot of these fellas, you're probably just going to do them all the same colour anyway. It keeps all that leather shade together. Going to move on to Citadel Retributor armour and start working on that gold armour trim now. Some people like to do the inside part first, some people like to do the outside part first. I tend to do whichever part I sort of decide to do at a particular time. Can't remember whether I've done the outside first in the past or the inside, but whichever one that you like to do, do it that way. But for the gold, we're going to use Retributor Armour. Thinking about where the light is going to be catching it, you want to be doing the more thicker gold towards the top and then having less of it applied sort of on the undersides and the edges, leaving more of the shade visible on those sections. So we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Liberator Gold now, and this is to highlight the Retributor Armour. So you want to be doing this on about 50% of the area that you put the Retributor Armour on, and you want to be thinking about the light catching it once more. So the areas where more light would be catching the gold, you want to add a little bit more Liberator Gold to those areas just to make them a bit lighter and a bit shinier. As a final highlight to the gold, we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. This will give you a really nice, well-pigmented colour that you can then highlight all of those edges with and make those details stand out without making it too obvious. If you catch it from a certain light, it won't look as though it's standing out, but when the light's right, it looks absolutely spot on. You can also use this on some of the wider areas where it'd be catching more light, just to give that a really, really good shine. Now I'm going to use Citadel Avalon Sunset. We're going to apply this to the yellow areas like the tubes and the armour plates that we're doing the black and white stripes on. Leaving some of the Cassandora yellow shade around the edges, you're just going to be reapplying this, kind of feathering it towards the outside so that you get that nice shade going into that yellow there. Now it's time for some Citadel Uriel Yellow. And we're just going to use this to highlight the yellow that we've just put on those armour plates and also on those little tubes. I'm going to use some Citadel Zandri Dust to highlight the areas on this kind of wooden grip on the bulk gun so i'm just going to put lines of this on so there's wood grain on there side to side i'll link up a video on painting wood grain here too but you just want to be able to add that on so it looks like the grain of the wood is visible now we can highlight that in a moment with another little layer so we're going to add a little bit of citadel rakar flesh 
to the Zandri dust and we're just going to do a few little highlights on that little section of wood grain there you don't have to do the lines going all the way across just a few little bits here and there and that'll make it look as though it's got the grain of the wood visible I'm going to use some Citadel Rakar flesh and start going onto the little bone spurs that are growing out of the armour and the front of his helm so just coat about three quarters of these leaving some of the Serum Sepia at the base of them and then we can move on to the next colour So the bone sections are only quite small on this so we're just going to go straight onto Screaming Skull here and do some little highlights to the end of each of those bone spurs. I need to go overboard when there's only a few little bits. If there's more skulls or bone decorations or growth then I'd do three layers on those but as there's only a couple I'm just doing a couple of layers on those. Now I'm going to use Vallejo Black to block out those sections of black colour again so you've got those tubes going across the front of the armour, both pauldrons, the case of the bolt rifle like the bodywork for that. And also have a little check if you've gone over the seals in the armour as well just in case any of the colours have gone on there. Next we're going to use some Vallejo German Grey and this is going to be to highlight all those areas we've just done in black. So like you did with the gold previously you're going to do about 50% of the area that you've just done with the Vallejo Black with the German Grey. You're going to be thinking about where the light is coming from, so if the light is coming from above you're probably going to be doing the German grey about two thirds of the way down the pauldrons. And then on the bolter you'll be doing sort of the top and then maybe a quarter of the way down the side that is tilted towards the sky. Final little highlight now is going to be some Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. This is just going to be to do edge highlights on any of the black areas. So you're just going to be doing some edge highlights on the tabard down his front there, just above the chain mail. Also the edges on the bolter and that. I also had a couple of little lines on the pauldrons, although there's no edges to catch the light, just to add a little bit of highlight to them. going to start working on the most of his armour now using Citadel Lead Belcher again. So you're going to leave the null oil in the recesses and you're going to start picking out areas that are going to be a little more shiny on these. So going round and reapplying some of the colour and leaving the shade in the recesses. I'm going to do a first highlight with some iron hand steel. Just add this to the areas where it'd be catching most light and that'll give it that little bit more shine. Obviously I think maybe it turns out a little bit too shiny. I was aiming for a little bit of a darker colour to him, but it's no worries. It's a good way to show you how to get that nice bright metallic shine on those silvery areas. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome just to do some edge highlights on the silvery metallics. It's a good way of getting all those little edges and the tops and bottoms of details to show up. Just use a little bit of that to do some of the edges and I'll get them standing out great. Now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Black and all I'm going to use this to do is the stripes on those legs. So I'm using a brush with a good point here. This is a Army Painter Insane Detail brush. It's really, really handy to use. Very decent point on it. It's good to do those nice little thin lines on there. So once you've got that, 
I usually just get it roughly the same with the part with the yellow and the black and just tweak them if you need to but if you pay attention to where the lines are and just drag the brush downwards you should be able to get those lines on pretty well so working on the pouches and the leather belt now we are going to use some citadel Balor brown and this is just going to be to do some scuffing and chafing to those pouches and the leather bits so you want to be doing the brush strokes at 90 degrees to the edge that you're working on so on those top edges and the horizontal edges you want to be going up and down and on the side edges you want to be going left and right that will just give you that rough scuffed look to it now we're going to use a little bit of citadel ricard flesh mix that with the ballo brown and we're going to do one little layer of highlights to these pouches and the belts now you don't want to do the whole thing with this just little sections where you've done the ballo brown and that will make certain areas look a little bit more scuffed than others so they've been scraped around a little bit more I'm going to work on the eye lenses. We're going to start with Citadel Mephist on red. I'm going to do about two thirds of the rear of the eye lens with this. Now, if you don't want to use lots of different colours, you can just use white. So every layer that I'm changing here will go to like Evil Sun Scarlet. Just add a little bit of white to the red. And you can highlight it that way. You don't have to use these specific colours. We're using Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet. You're going to do about a third of the lens with that, the rear third of the lens. And then Wild Rider Red, which is this one, we're going to use. I think it's a army painter psycho brush which has got a really really thin point on it i'm just going to use that to do some tiny little bits of wild rider red at the back end there now we're going to use some vallejo white to do a spot in each lens and a little tiny highlight at the back end there where you have that wild rider red and evil sun scarlet Final colour is going to be Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm not going to use this to do the chapter badge or the Legion icon on the shoulder there. It's going to be the kind of iron skull face with that arrowhead pointing down towards the nose. So I'm going to be doing a full video of this on Sunday. It's a fairly quick one. It's got a few little fine lines in there, but it's fairly easy to do. And do it slightly larger on the shoulder pad so that those details stand out for you. As I say, that'll be on Sunday. And there we have it. This is the finished Iron Warriors miniature. Really pleased with how it turned out. It's another one of the original legions sorted. But happy with the overall effect. Another miniature in the bag. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.